Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from Creator. Hello friends, uh, in this video we are going to see important topics to prepare for GATE CS. Um, my name is Malleshim Devasane. So we have uh, so many videos to share and uh, this video has uh, so much of importance in GATE where you need to understand how to prepare uh, for GATE. So that's a, a one a very important thing is uh, how to prepare for a topics in GATE in which there are thousands of topics overall in GATE in which each subject has at least you know hundreds of topics to prepare. But you know the all of these topics you can convert into main topics uh, we have covered a very important topics in this video. Why these topics are very important? This will help you to score better and also it also helps you to uh, revise in better way. So this is the very importance uh, which will give you um, a good marks and also you can focus on easy topics as well as difficult topics in easier way. So easy topics you can spend uh, less time and difficult topics you can spend more time when you do the revision. So these topics I am going to share one by one. The first subject I am going to discuss about uh, programming and data structure. As you see last three years around um, the average weightage marks is around 20 marks it is. That means this subject has so much of importance in GATE. Uh, if you prepare uh, programming in data structure you can get at least uh, 15 marks in GATE. So what are the uh, topics are asked in so far from last 4 to 5 years is uh, they are giving you program and asking about output of the program, sometimes a functionality of the program and sometimes the program includes arrays and pointers, maybe theoretically sometimes. So you should ask uh, yourself if I give you 1D and 2D dimensional array can you find the particular location of an element using arrays and pointers. And one more important topic is a parameter processing technique using call by value and call by address. And remaining parameter uh, techniques you may not be um, required as per new syllabus in the gate. So just concentrate on two kinds of parameter processing techniques. And in, when you come to the data structure, the first uh, very important topic is a linked list. So you have so many types of linked list like singly and doubly as well as a circular linked list concept in which they will be asking you about time complexities, how to find an element and uh, if you insert an element what is the time complexity and sometimes deletion also might be a given. In data structure ev every year there are 2 to 3 questions from the trees topics in which a binary trees or BS trees and one question from heap trees. So do not miss uh, preparing these topics uh, for the gate point of view. Let us move to the second subject which is algorithms. Most of the topics we have seen in data structures like graphs and trees which will be uh, covered in both of them. So let us start with the actual algorithm topics. The one question which is uh, coming every year from analysis of algorithms, they might be asking you about uh, the existing algorithms or uh, they may be given a new algorithm to find the time complexity. Like, uh, many times they are asked about a quick sort and merge sort variations but sometimes could be asked based on arrays if I have if I have uh, n elements in array and many elements are in positive numbers can you find the negative number what is the time complexity taken. So this kind of questions may be formed uh, in gate. So analysis of algorithm is very important you do not know where the question will be coming but definitely there is a question which is you need to understand analysis of the given question. Now second type of question is sorting. There are uh, three questions uh, very important for sorting that is if sort, merge sort and pick sort. This three sorting techniques are um, have been asked from many years and also will be asked in the future. The third important topic in algorithm is uh, greedy algorithms. In greedy there are so many topics in which a minimum sparring tree is every year almost one question is coming. So definitely you should prepare this topic. The final important one is a dynamic programming. You know that dynamic programming algorithms take at least one hour to understand each algorithm. So that's why they may not ask you about algorithm but they definitely there is a chance to ask an example. 
so i have seen last few years uh, there was a question coming from a longest common subsequence so they will give you two strings you have to find a longest common subsequence of the given two strings so this kind of questions you can practice for the algorithms let's move to the third subject computer networks from last two years uh, there was a weightage is given a um, good weightage is given to the computer networks so you can expect 8 to 10 marks from computer networks the one important question which is always been asked uh, from ip addressing so subnetting supernetting and ip addressing finding number of subnets finding number of os so this kind of questions you may practice from the ip addressing including header format and another kind of topic is uh, ethernet problems so you need to find out you know transmission delays and propagation delays in some kind of questions and another topic is flow and error control techniques you may use um, sliding window protocols uh, to find out uh, um, number of packets in the transmission and fourth topic is application layer protocols there are one or two questions are coming from this topic uh, you have so many application layer protocols like you have seen uh, icmp ftp http uh, dns and there are so many other uh, protocols uh, you need to understand about their applications now the final topic which been asked uh, every two years one question from routing algorithms in which there are only two important topics uh, one is uh, a linked uh, link state routing algorithm another one is distance based so there are only two types of uh, routing algorithms which were asked frequently let's move to the operating systems so this is the subject where the uh, many students uh, they feel uh, very hard so remember that there are some topics in gate nobody uh, can make it easy but you can always understand uh, the definitions in easier way and you can uh, follow the examples do not worry about the questions which were asked in the past gate because out of 65 questions there will be definitely 5 to 6 questions might be harder so you may not require to answer such questions so sometimes it is possible and it was given from operating system there were many questions are difficult they may take more than 5 minutes sometimes so when you have such questions you must have the strategy to attempt the gate so anyhow the operating system is easy subject but do not make it is a very difficult and in which try to cover the topics threads cp scheduling and in which uh, you have almost easy scheduling algorithms do not uh, miss uh, this topic and uh, paging uh, the way the people feel difficulty in paging because they wanted to work with uh, variations and do not try which uh, with uh, so many kind of variations because simple paging and simple segmentation everybody can understand at least try to understand that and then go to the page replacement algorithms and every two years one question is coming from page replacement so everybody can answer the semaphore programs where uh, you have difficulty uh, to answer such questions the reason is we don't understand the programs uh, very clearly many times because understanding the deadlock starvation and a uh, mutual exclusion in programs might be difficult because you need to point you need to understand which point will create this kind of trouble so do not worry but try to understand the existing problems and uh, examples which were asked in the gate so far so this can help you to prepare better in gate so finally the deadlock topic so deadlock you have seen so many easy questions asked so far so they will give you a few number of processes and few number of available resources and in which you have to uh, find uh, where deadlock will not occur so that how many uh, resources uh, can be maximum provided or how many uh, maximum number of processes are allotted so this kind of questions you may practice from the deadlock the next very easy subject is database uh, sometimes you know every subject there are difficult questions might possible like in this subject almost 95 percent of the questions are easier like you practice er diagrams finding number of er tables uh, tables from given er diagrams and then normalization very easy topic uh, try to solve all easy questions from this uh, topic finding uh, functional dependencies finding canonical covers and finding which normal form is right for the given functional dependencies and also go for the serializability there is a frequently asked question from serializability which is conflict serializable 
and sometimes view serializable but go to the conflict conflict serializable which is asked so many times and it was a very easy question and then uh, regularly one or two questions comes from uh, queries in which sql query is definite but uh, a relational query or tuple query is uh, may be optional so go with the queries uh, try to understand uh, questions all um, options are given in the gate so in this option you can find uh, right answer for the given question so you don't feel any difficulty to write or to understand the query so everything is given in the query so try to understand the given question and query and match properly so that is very important to practice the queries and in general we try to practice writing the queries but really here uh, for the gate preparation you do not require to write the query so at least try to understand the given query that is more than sufficient for the database and finally the last topic which were asked uh, from last two years indexing so indexing um, read theoretical point of view because uh, in last years uh, two years i have seen the theoretical questions were given from indexing and the very important subject in a computer science is theory of computation so in which um, you no need to practice you no need to uh, solve anything in the gate so just within seconds you can answer these questions uh, which can save your time in gate because this kind of questions you no need to put a pen just you need to answer by understanding so these questions comes from uh, regular languages regular expressions how to identify the given languages cfl or dcfl and definitely one question from decidability and sometimes combination with reducibility and in the last year there were three questions from the same set are uh, given uh, from context free grammar so try to read these topics uh, which will help you uh, to score better the next subject and after the operating system uh, we feel sometimes very difficult in computer organization because uh, the computer organization has very two important topics which is a uh, pipelining and memory organization the pipelining you try to practice the speed up questions and then um, try to find the number of stages for the uh, pipelining of the instructions so these two kind of questions are asked many times in gate so practice these two questions and uh, the second type of uh, topic is memory organization in which the questions were asked from uh, addressing direct addressing associative um, maybe full associative and set associative mapping so this uh, topic try to solve at least you know to understand the difference between what is a tag and uh, uh, index as well as offset this three will help you to understand uh, what is the addressing then the last topic which is important in organization is um, memory sorry addressing modes and machine instructions in the given machine instructions can you find uh, the same can you find the same uh, kind of machine instructions with less number of uh, registers so it is a kind of optimizing the uh, machine instructions sometimes you may need to find the number of cycles of the uh, given machine instructions so this will help you to practice for the gate exam and uh, second type of question is addressing modes so i'll give you particular uh, instructions can you tell me that what kind of addressing mode it is used or how many bytes it takes so this might help you to uh, solve some of the gate questions then we'll go for digital logic which has less weightage uh, you may uh, consider that 4 to 5 marks may be asked for gate then a uh, one important topic which is uh, a minimization which is a very very easy topic you should not leave uh, for uh, practicing this kind of topic in the minimization just go for the uh, boolean simplification uh, and also k map simplification so whichever is easier you can uh, practice with them and definitely you know you can uh, see such questions in many times in gate and second question which is always uh, asked so far in every year that is combinational circuit maybe you see the question from a uh, multiplexer g multiplexer g coder or encoder but you see even sometimes off order full order so questions coming uh, from combinational circuit uh, which is uh, almost one question from every year so combinational circuit must cover and uh, finally uh, two or three years one or two questions were given from counters and flip flops which is from sequential circuit so in the counters 
uh, you may need to find out what is the uh, particular count after uh, applying 2 or 3 clerks or 4 clerks and sometimes they will be giving you free flop you need to find out what is the output for the uh, given combinations. Then we will move to another easy subject that is compiler design and if you prepare the one uh, chapter you can carry marks from the compiler design that is a parsing. In this parsing you see that LL1 grammars and LR, LR grammars were only the questions were asked in great many times. So, 4 marks you can carry easily from uh, this topic and the in to compute this uh, grammars you must understand how to compute first and follow computation. If you compute first and follow computation almost every problem looks easier in compiler design. So, better to practice that how to compute the first and follow computation in compiler. Then uh, many times which is a common topic in TOC and compiler that is uh, finding the given CFG is ambiguous or not. So, try to practice what is ambiguous and what is not ambiguous, how you can find out the best way if the given grammar is ambiguous. Then the one important topic in discrete mathematics is uh, mathematical logic. So, in last year I have seen 3 questions from mathematical logic. So, every year there were 2 questions in mathematical logic, maybe either 1 mark or 2 mark, but definitely there are 2 questions were given at least from mathematical logic. One is a predicate logic guarantee, but another question might be from predicate or proportional logic. So, try to prepare predicate logic and proportional logic you can carry uh, easily from this topic. Then the counting, the counting is uh, you know you have so many topics to prepare like permutations, combinations and uh, uh, summation and includes counting, inclusion, exclusion principle. There are so many topics in which focus on permutation and combinations because these questions will also help you um, in practicing general updated questions. In 2016 uh, and 17 we have few questions from counting which were asked in general aptitude. So, it also saves you a time uh, to solve the questions in general aptitude. Then uh, the last and final important topic in discrete mathematics is a graph theory. So, you see at least uh, 2 or 3 questions which were asked uh, in every year so far because graph theory topic is covered in almost 3 subjects one is data structures and algorithms and then a discrete mathematics in which so many topics are common to each other. But understand graph theory has so much of importance in computer science do not leave any topic from graph theory because somewhere it will be linked somehow uh, to answer the questions. So, in which connectivity and planar graphs are frequently asked questions. Then uh, engineering mathematics. So, the weightage of engineering mathematics is around you know uh, 6 to uh, 7 marks in which uh, probability linear algebra is uh, uh, have, uh, have is, uh, is having more importance that probability is having 2 to 3 marks linear algebra is having uh, around 3 marks. So, uh, try to practice the probability basic questions based on the conditional probability and some of the distribution questions. And then linear algebra uh, try to find determinant rank and eigenvalues um, for the given matrix. Then we will move to the last uh, one that is the general aptitude and I have seen that uh, so many students they try to ask sir how to prepare for general aptitude. Then I asked them uh, I also told so many times please uh, do not get this doubt because I have seen from last few years and uh, when whenever they started introducing this, sub this subject all the toppers they were used to say that there is no preparation is required general aptitude. The reason is uh, out of 15 marks you can easily get 10 marks without having any preparation. Then if you take care of uh, you know the topics which are asked so far and prepare those topics uh, for the next gate so that at least you can carry uh, 12 to 13 marks. So, without preparing you can get uh, more than 8 marks that is nearly 10 marks but with preparation you can go to uh, 12 to 15 marks. So, just you require just attention of uh, uh, looking at the great questions which were asked in all the branches uh, for the general aptitude questions that will help you uh, to answer for the next coming gate. So, you do not require a special preparation and uh, 
मे बी यू नो सम पीपल से दैट एवरी डे आई वॉन्ट टू प्रिपेयर फॉर हाफ एन आवर और वन आवर प्लीज डू नॉट गो फॉर सच काइंड ऑफ प्रिपरेशन बेटर टू गो फॉर इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स बिकॉज बाई डूइंग गुड प्रैक्टिस इन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स यू कैन गेट गुड मार्क्स इन गेट बट जनरल एप्टीट्यूड यू नीड टू गिव एन अटेंशन टू द सेंटेंस कंप्लीशन एंड ड्रामास एज वेल एज सम ऑफ द सीरीज एंड काउंटिंग प्रॉब्लम्स द फाइनली डेटा इंटरप्रिटेशन सो द क्वेश्चन हाउ डू दे मेक इज रियली यू नो इम्पॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड देर इज नो पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रेटजी देन हाउ एंड वेर द क्वेश्चन विल कम फ्रॉम बट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस टॉपिक्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर जनरल एप्टीट्यूड देन so try to understand uh, this topics really will help you uh, to score better and uh, if you uh, concentrate on these topics at least you can get you know uh, more than 50 marks in gate so try to prepare these topics and get more marks in gate and i will be sharing a uh, weightage analysis of these topics and uh, weightage analysis of subject in gate and also uh, many videos are going to be shared in the future so please connected um, and uh, ask your doubts and grade up and also uh, there are so many aspirants are willing to uh, answer your questions when you have the doubts and the grade up um, thank you so much for watching this video yeah,